I just left from watching my Cleveland Browns pull off their victory. I'm excited about that. The football season is back. And I got a chance to spend some time with myself. My wife got the kids. Uh, it felt good to just go and spend some alone time, some me time. So I was thinking about, let me record this video on why this is important. Now, if you've been in a committed relationship for a long time, you've been married for a long time, I think it's important that you give that person their individual time. The other day, my wife got to spend some time with her girlfriend. They went to go kick it, have lunch or breakfast, and went and got their nails done, feet done, all that other good stuff, just doing girl stuff. And it was all good. I was at the house with the boys and you know, she was gone for the majority of the day. But that's cool because giving her that time allows her to be, you know, her free self without having to worry about me and everything that I got going on, right? Because like she stuck with me, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's important that you give them that individual time. And I'm gonna give you two reasons why. Number one is it helps them to focus on themselves, right? Outside of you because they with you every single day, all day long. You know, you can start a sentence, they can finish it. They know you, they know you snore, they know you eat certain kind of foods, like all day they know you aren't going anywhere. So it's important to give them that individual time to themselves. Number two is giving them that time to connect with friends, with family, to get different perspectives on life, uh, just to hang out, just to catch up with other people besides you. I know a lot of times people get in relationships and this a lot of times have to do with newlyweds. A lot of times they like, or, or people who are new in relationships, they're like, we ride or die, you and I against the world, you're in each other's face all day. I get it, that happens in new relationships. But when, you, when you've been with someone for an extended amount of time, it's important that you give them that time apart from you. Now, I will say this, because there might have been a relationship where the trust have been broken and they don't trust you to be by yourself. There might be a season that you're going through right now where, where everything that you do, everywhere you go, you got to let them know what's going on. You got to let them know that you're stopping at the gas station because the trust has been broken, right? So it's important that, you let, that you're keeping them in a loop with everything that's going on. Now, for I would say for my wife and I, she know where I'm at right now, but I don't have to explain that to her. I told her where I was going. This is, that's where I'm at, right? Recording this video, talking to you all. But if the trust was broken, you know, every move I would make, I would have maybe have to have my navigation system on so she can see where I'm going because the trust has been broken. So I will say that if you're going through that season of life, it's okay to let that person know what's going on with you because you're in the rebuilding stage. You need to regain that trust and let that other person feel comfortable with the decisions that you make apart from them. Now, I just wanted to say that, you know, just because some people might be dealing with trust issues, but those who don't struggle in that area, it's important to let your spouse or your significant other to have their me time. It's very important because when they come back to you, they can be refreshed or if they got a chance to hang out with their friends, they can tell you their day, something new might've happened in their life besides your regular mundane life that y'all know y'all got going on every single day. Um, so when they come back to you, it's all good. Y'all have something new to talk about. Uh, you refresh, you're happy to see this person again. It's like, oh, okay, you know, I missed you. You've been away from me for a day or, you know, most of the day or whatever. So that's very important. Give them that time to themselves. They deserve it and it's okay. And this is what happens when you have healthy relationships that you can allow them to go and do what they want to do apart from you because you have a healthy relationship. You're secure in, in that relationship and you know that it's all good. And you know that this is spending that part of time from you is a benefit. It's not anything to take away from you. So I just wanted to drop that on your spirit real quick. I think that's important. So if you got, uh, if you've been in a relationship for a certain amount of years, go ahead and let that person go and enjoy themselves apart from you. It's all good. They still love you. They ain't going nowhere. Just let them enjoy their life for a second, but it's all good. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you share this with a friend. Someone might need this. This is Sean Heineman that is scared to remarry, wanting you to love fearlessly. Your premier pre-engagement coach. Take care, people.